Hi folks, are you ready to go surfing with Lucid Stock? Up and down, oh my gosh. Are the sharks out there to get you? Well, they probably are, because, you know, investing is very risky. And I'd like to say, actually with companies that are not making a profit or any new stock, it's always going to be a riskier situation than buying a stock that has a long history of profitability. Of course, you can have stocks from companies that were not publicly traded, and so they did have profits before becoming publicly traded stocks, and so then you have more information. But with new companies, new products, it's more of a gamble rather than investing. It's could be called speculation. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research and get an expert financial advisor. But with the 10% of money that you like to play with is what I recommend. 90% controlled by a professional investment advisor. But 10%, why not have fun? But realize that it, it could be more like gambling and uh, so very risky and let's talk about lucid and why it could be very risky what could bring the stock down and there are a number of things that could make it quite risky sorry for the noise we're trying to get into electric vehicles on this planet but right now we still have noisy vehicles noisy motorcycles and scooters polluting and did you know actually cause cancer it causes cancer a lot of times so uh, of course we know people die from air pollution it's terrible especially in places like china and hong kong Millions of people are dying. So there's a big move toward electric vehicles. But when they create the electric vehicles using dirty factories and uh, electricity created from coal, gosh, it might, it might help the local environment, but the environment near the coal plants is really not good. And of course it travels all around the world. So we need to clean up and reduce our population. Now, before we get into Lucid and how it's very risky, let me just say, welcome to the Excellent Universe channel. Please subscribe and thumbs up and comment so that you can get other videos that you really need. And uh, so just, this is gonna be a quick video because my battery's running low, that's why. So with a company that has not been around a long time, it's risk riskier even if the price of the stock has come way down. So let's take Lucid as an example. When they came out, they had the Motor Trend Car of the Year for uh, well, it was last year, but I think they declared it the 2021 or the 2022 car of the year. Not sure. It's an incredible, efficient, lucid air, dream edition. And well, all the lucid cars are incredible. And so the stock price was nice and high. It was wonderful. And people made a ton of money investing in lucid. And however, it could have been called a bubble. And the reason why is uh, Tesla stock went up and many electric vehicle stock prices went up. And then suddenly they turned and over several weeks and months, the prices came down on some of the stocks, maybe 
30, 40, 50, 60 percent. And uh, so the bubble sort of popped. And people are saying, well, you know, how, how could it go any lower? It's already come down so much. And, you know, the average uh, stock market, say bear market, is about 36 percent. So if Lucid stock has come down already, I'm not sure exactly the percentage because it changes day to day. But let's say it's come down more than 50%. And uh, so, well, gosh, you know, it's only going to go back up to, uh, hypothetically, to the levels where it was in the past and beyond. Well, the truth of the matter is, without years of data and without profits, the stock price could never may never recover it might not so if you buy in now just because it's come way down doesn't mean you'll ever make money there could be some huge scandal the quality of the product which like any new product quality is not is not known there could be some major design flaws or quality issues that make the company virtually worthless over time and i'm not saying this is the case i think they have wonderful engineers and probably the product is wonderful but we just don't know that makes buying the stock a huge gamble so just realize if you buy it you're not investing you really are gambling and the solution right is right here it's my tesla no i'm kidding it's not my tesla but it's a beautiful Tesla. And that's a solution, which is, we know they're profitable. Yes, so, so watch out for Lucid stock. It's less of a gamble than Tesla. Although you could also lose money with Tesla for similar reasons. But chances of Tesla going bankrupt is very low. Chances of Lucid going bankrupt, well, I estimate, purely estimation do your own research but i would say 45 percent or more that lucid may not have the demand people don't like the ceo and uh, many people can't pay 130,000 or 150 160,000 dollars for a new car so you know um i'm gonna do another video more about the risks of lucid but I just wanted to make that point for you to understand if you're new to investing or you don't understand investing very well, just new products, new companies. It doesn't matter how low the stock has come down from recent highs or for some, from a high point. And right now the stock market's incredibly overvalued. So Lucid could come down even much more. It could come down 100% and they could go bankrupt. But... Um, very little chance of that without a buyout so chances are it's not as it's not a hundred percent risky but you could still lose more than half your money so only do it with money you don't care if you lose it most of it even all of it if if some weird disaster occurs okay so uh, now i'm not saying it couldn't go up it could and it could be the best investment of your life. We just don't know because of the quality. We don't know because of demand. It's unknown. And we don't have the years of profitability that, you know, uh, sort of lend evidence to the possible future value of the stock. So good luck out there. Be careful. Thanks. And don't forget to... Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and make sure you comment. Okay, bye now.